We're taking a look now at some well done work in pediatric oncology and joining us here at ASCO 2013 is Jason Glover, MD. He is from the Randall Children's Hospital in beautiful Portland, Oregon. Nice uh, neck of the woods you have there. Yeah, and I enjoy living there a lot. It's a great place to live. Let's, uh, let's talk about the abstract you're presenting here. Can you give us an overview of it? Sure. So I'm talking about the um, uh, osteosarcoma uh, banking and biology efforts that were produced through um, the Children's Oncology Group as well as the Quad W Foundation. Okay. And what is it about? So basically in the early 1990s and 2000s, um, we had this very large pool of, of uh, biological samples from patients with osteosarcoma. Unfortunately, it had been collected without um, all of the clinically linked data on how patients did, what treatments they received. Um, and so basically what, what happened as part of the efforts was to go back and to um, gather this data from over 1,500 different patients with osteosarcoma. Technology's come a long way since then, and it sounds like a massive recovery project. How did you go about doing it? So uh, basically it took a lot of phone calls to go back and to go through the Children's Oncology Group and contact institutions across the country and to have them all resubmit their data to re-go through patient charts and say, uh, this patient um, did fare well or didn't fare as well, and um, they had um, different types of treatment protocols as well. And then to also, what's most, most important is to look at what sort of um, genes or proteins may be expressed in the, the samples that exist in the freezers, and then how do we link the two together. So now that you gather all this stuff, you find that you've got some pretty significant results and improvements. Can you talk about those? Yeah, so I, I think that one of the um, one of the big things is that improvements had been pretty stagnant over the last 30 years. And what really needs to happen in osteosarcoma is we need new um, biologi biological targets to be able to hit with new drugs that are specific. Osteosarcoma treatment is pretty toxic and leaves uh, patients with deafness or infertility, cardiac issues. So the current therapy still needs a lot of work and hopefully a lot of good will come out of this uh, effort in finding new uh, treatments. In terms of percentages, what was available to what is available now, how much have you improved? Yeah, so from the first biology study, um, about half of those patients lacked any, any clinical data. And over a two-year period of time through these efforts, we were able to go from five, about 5% 5 of those patients having clinical data to 90% of those patients having all the clinical data we needed. That, that really creates a rolling stone in the right direction, doesn't it? Definitely. Okay, so let's talk about the, um, the personal angle behind this. You mentioned who was responsible for funding it, but there's a real personal angle behind this. Yeah, so uh, a big part of this effort was um, funded by the Quad W Foundation, or also known as What Would Willie Want Foundation. Um, and it was basically started by a family that lost uh, one of their children to osteosarcoma. Um, and they came to the Children's Oncology Group and asked, you know, we really want to help and we're not sure how. Um, instead of developing a single drug, they were pretty smart and put their eggs in lots of different baskets and in building a, a infrastructure that really will afford not just one biology project, but, but many different bi biology projects and hopefully uh, continue to uh, find new treatments and therapies for patients. Very well. Congratulations on your success so far. Thank you. Jason Glover, MD, joining us from the Randall Children's Hospital in Portland, Oregon, here at ASCO 2013.